obviously, I'm sure it was frustrating to see him like a long recovery. Has it been worth it, and what's this season been to you? Uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely been worth it. Um, season, season's been great, um, you know, finishing up this last year here at Drake. Uh, a lot of ups and downs, but um, I mean, great memories. Uh, and I mean, I'm happy to just be here at the end, uh, you know, in the final race, I guess, um, making the playing in the tournament with DJ um, and Tucker and, you know, a bunch of the guys on the team seniors. I'm um, just, you know, grateful to be here and uh, I can't wait to uh, get down to St. Louis and compete. Were either one of you ever concerned you wouldn't ever get to full strength again this season with what you went through? Uh, no, not really. Uh, I just feel like I was just, yeah, just focused. I focused, felt like I focused so much on the physical therapy throughout this past summer and just the time that I spent, I had a lot of confidence in that and trusting the doctors and the PT people. Yeah, same. I mean, uh, you know, I had my first year injury, so a little doubt, you know, kind of coming in. But, I mean, it's been feeling so good for me and my foot's just been feeling great. And I just kind of just felt different this year a little bit, you know, when I was coming back from it and just, the, you know, going through the pain of it. I just didn't feel no pain this year, so I was like, you know, I could tell that this is going to be a different uh, year for me. Roman and DJ, this will be the first time in a couple of years that you guys have to be in the tournament together because of injuries yet again. How does it feel, you know, after growing up playing together to get to be back on that floor at the same time? Uh, it feels good just to be able to, to uh, do it this last time together. And, uh, you know, just the past couple of years, these incidents that keep happening right at the end of the year that Keeping, keeping us from being able to play in these games together. But um, the year I played, the year he played, we both made it to the championship. And uh, we always talked about what if we always had like our whole group going into March. And this year we have our whole group going into March healthy. So I'm pretty confident in it. Yeah, I mean, uh, same. You know, happy to be playing with DJ for the last year in the tournament. Um, yeah, kind of just trading off years, taking time off, I guess. But uh, super grateful to have our full health on our team this year. Uh, I love the way we're playing, even though, you know, we took a tough loss at Bradley. But I love the, the confidence we got right now. And I mean, just ready to compete out there. Three games, three nights. Um, it's going to be fun. Talk, we're talking about these guys. I mean, these guys use their COVID years to come back and, and play with you. I mean, you guys have kind of had a target on your back all year long. Now everyone's start fresh going into tournament time. What's that mean, getting one last ride with these guys? Yeah, I mean, you know, I coming here five years ago and watching these guys, um, you know, build what what's here. Um, a lot of what uh, has been accomplished here is because of these two guys, guys right here. And um, you know, I'm just super grateful to be able to you know experience that with them. Um, they they've laid a great foundation, and to just be able to you know carry that on into this year and into this tournament, um, you know, lay it all out there one more time for these seniors. And I, I would love nothing more for. Um, you know, th these these seniors to go out the right way. Um, you know, they've done a lot and they, they deserve everything that um, comes their way. This was that temptation back to ask a DJ or even grow. I mean, you had the chance to move on. You had the chance to go do something else. I know you guys were rehabbing injuries and stuff like that, but what brought you back? Uh, for me, just, um, you know, just to love and just to play basketball, college basketball, to, and everything that we created here at Drake, uh, not only just us um, as players, as coaches, as athletic directors, um, and everybody, like it's like a family feel. It's fun to be around every day. It's not like you coming in, dragging to go to practice every day. You come in, you want to be here, you want to be able to play and compete with the guys that you have up, you know, you have in the locker room. But um, yeah, just to be able to uh, run another 30 games with these guys, uh, play with Tuck another year, Roman here, Coach Marty DeVries. Um, you know, you can't get those years back, and uh, if y'all can extend it one more, yeah, I'm glad I did. Yeah, I'm the same. You know, you get to be in college one for one lifetime, and you know, why not take another year? Especially, you know, coming off an injury, that's just, you know, helps helps me out. You know, being around great guys that you know care about me and just want to support me and help me out in any way possible, and just you know, trying to compete for a championship. You know, like. Kind of like DJ said, you know, we didn't get to play together for, for that last year. And then, you know, just the previous years that we just had bad luck. And just competing with these guys, I love it here. Uh, I mean, just build so many friends and uh, community over here. I mean, it's just it's hard, to not, it's hard to just leave here, you know, sometimes when you have a chance to stay. So that was just kind of uh, the reason of coming back and just competing again. I mean, playing at the NAP, they're rebuilding the arena, all kind of new stuff. So, I mean, why not be in the arena for one time as, as much as you can? Yeah, I think, um, you know, every game you learn something. So, you know, the more games you play, obviously, the more more experience you have. Um, you feel a little more comfortable even game, every game. 
Um, and, you know, just kind of taking that experience and taking it to my advantage. But um, kind of like these guys said earlier last year, you know, chips kind of just didn't fall our way. and um, We were shorthanded. And this year, you know, being able to go full strength, you know, that we, we can count on so many more guys this year to, you know, kind of step up. And, you know, I'm looking forward to, you know, just see everybody contribute and just make big plays for us in, in this tournament. Where do you think your game's growing the most? Uh, I think everything's just kind of slowed down. Um, you know, freshman year, a little more inconsistent this year, probably a little more consistency, um, especially shooting the ball, just kind of getting to my spots a little better. But, um, you know, I think I think the main thing, like as a freshman, you're just you're kind of learning on the fly. And, um, you know, I, I think I was lucky enough to have a great group that instilled a lot of confidence in me as a freshman. And then um, kind of carrying that into this year, just, you know, playing loose, confident, and, you know, just kind of taking that experience to for the game to kind of slow down definitely helps. <laughs> uh, honestly, I'm just going to say the entire bench. You know, I think um, our, our our main group of five that you know started majority of the year. You know, I, I think kind of get what, what we're going to get. I feel like um, when, when our bench plays well, they bring a lot of energy. I mean, you, you've seen it. We've we've really you know taken off, and I think in these last ten games, we've we've had a deep deep team that um, has made a lot of plays. And you know, you can lean on a bunch of different guys like Sadar, Connor. Uh, Nate stepped up and just Okai's made a lot of shots. You know, you just never know which night um, one of those guys is going to step up. And you know, Sadar hits four threes. I mean, that's that's a big deal for us. Um, you know, Connor comes in, t changes the game defensively, takes a few charges. Um, you just never know which play it is, what player. And I just say any of those guys when they when they bring that effort, it definitely helps us. Tough question. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, what are the you know last. 36 hours been like as you switch from Sunday and what we're down in Peoria to now get ready for a, a gigantic stretch of basketball. Um, just really just turning the page. Uh, you know, it's a three-part season. You got non-conference, you got conference play, then you got postseason. Uh, and postseason is the extras. I mean, you got to go out there and you got to win every game if you want to continue to keep playing throughout March. And you know, after Sunday, you know, we took that one on the chin. Uh, uh, played a good game, some shots didn't fall down, but the next day, take the day off, relax our minds, and then come in here, turn the page, and be ready to take on whoever we need to take on Friday. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's getting into survival mode. I mean, I love the tournament. I love the winner go home feeling. I love that 40 minutes, everybody's playing as hard as they can on both sides, and I just love that, you know, the best team steps up, the best team plays good when it matters, and uh, I, I really love our confidence right now, and I love the uh, momentum we got. And, you know, we just got to have some good practices leading up to the tournament and um, just be prepared for whatever and, you know, just go out there and compete. Can I follow up? Yeah, I mean, I mean, this is the best time of year, right? And, um, you know, postseason play, it's do or die. And, you know, just having this senior group one last time, you know, I, I feel really confident in our group that we're hungry. Um, you know, taking that one on, on the other day, you know, it sucked, but you, you kind of turned the page and um, we knew we had to win three games in three days anyways to probably make the tournament. And um, I think we're preparing to do that. And, you know, we have a lot of confidence going to this tournament. And I, like I said, I just, I just can't wait to go out there with these seniors and send them off right.